Hi again, it's inside of Vicky. Um, I haven't had eight years now. The first year I had her, I actually swamped her in the wax hole. Absolutely swamped in here with the wax hole. You can see it's absolutely sticky with wax hole. All down the sides here, um, behind the lamp. It's actually, you know, there's wax hole everywhere. I mean, look at it. And it's kept it well. I mean, it looks unsightly, but um, yeah, the well worth doing if you strip it down and we get it back to metal or kill it, the rust. Chuck wax on really thickly. Garages don't like it very much, but uh, it certainly. I pulled out the jack yesterday and found a little bit of rust on that the bracket there. It's not even structural. Again, I put that's all the rust I got in the cab at the moment. I just put some rust kill on it, rubbed down with a wire brush and I will paint it up and that's that rust gone out there, Jack will go back. Again, it's ain't hidden, so if you leave it and don't treat it, you end up with problems. Um, this is a little 1.8 diesel, um, so reliable, um, so fantastic. I've got a splitter there for my, there's your battery, which I'm coming today, 110 amp, 115 amp battery and a G gun or something, 600 watt converter, the Australian model um, to, to connect, which I'll be doing this week, get off road. So there's plenty of things to do. Um, like you, I'm sort of amateur, um, just enjoy having a little roam home and keeping it on the road basically, and it's so comfortable to drive. So I'll change, I did it already, it's, it's a nice hot sunny day, basically, um, that's your dipstick, obviously you know that. To fill all up, you undone to this. All goes in there. Tips that got the measuring, obviously level mark. Straight forward. I put a new oil filter on, SP943. Um, that's very easy to fit, I don't know if you can see in there. Just down there. Basically just get some tension on it, unscrew it, and then drop it in a pan, and then wipe it round when it's drained. A bit of oil and put a new filter on. I mean, so many videos on that, it's straightforward. And to drain the um, in your oil, there's some underneath, obviously. We'll go down and have a look at it for you. There's a, a sump there, which is a 21 millimeter socket or a hexagonal key, Allen key. I much prefer the 21 mil socket if you've got one. If not, then you've got the alternative. A basically of old washing up bowl underneath, catch the, the muck, the old oil. It's very simple actually. Do it yourself, it's much cheaper than going to the garage and you get better quality oil at the same time because you get the best oil rather than the garages general purpose stuff so yeah that's that one hello again Derek here with Vicky um, just changing the oil filter today um, air filter so I got it from Bison Parts came to 20 pounds altogether very good good postage there's me oh air filter we're going to change MD572 and there's a fuel filter, MD069. Uh, fuel filter, basically by the manual you undo those four bolts. Sounds easy, lift that out, pour the filter out, place that, clean it out, put the four bolts on. The engine's running very well at the moment, so I don't think it's point of mucking about with that and getting air in the system. So I'm not changing the fuel filter because it's running too well and I think Leave it alone, that one. The air filter. It's quite a big piece. Actually, it's big, isn't it? I hope it's the right size. Yeah. Didn't find out. But it's big, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh well. Let me see. Um, basically, you pull it. I'm unscrewed. Screw down there. And I've unscrewed this screw here. All right. Have I moved the thing? Yeah. So, basically, it should. Yeah, that bit comes out. Yeah. 
weird. Um, pull this one off. Now there's supposed to be little clips. One there. One there. And one there. So I think it's all. Is there one there as well? Yeah. Right. So not seeing what's in here. It's pretty clean. Ah, oh, it's a huge filter. Thank goodness for that. Actually, not too bad actually. Yeah, in fact, it's pretty good. Um, I expect to be full of rubbish. Um, what else have we got in here? Oh, <laughs> got, a, got a few leaves though. Good. <laughs> yeah, um, good crumbs, yeah. So, a bit of rubbish in there. Um, yeah, so the fielder works obviously because <laughs> that go in the engine have some fun. So that's why it's worth changing or checking anyway. So I've got a damp cloth now, I'm just going to wipe around in here. Never done one of these before, so you can see how simple it is. Why well, I can do it, and it keeps these little Rome homes back on the road. Without expense, it seems a good idea. Right, so nice and clean. So now that one looks the same. Yeah, it is the right, isn't it? So I presume that goes at the top because that was at the top. So drops in there. Simple as that. This is spotless. Just drop my screwdriver down there. So that obviously must go over there. You see where the can you see where the clips go in? One there, one there, and one there. So push that on there like that. It's a bit fiddly. It's a bit fiddly. That one is a very fiddly. Some there. That's right. That's it. Cool, right. oh dear. That one's on. Cool. Cool, this one's not going on though. So it's not right. Yeah. So why is that then? Perhaps that should be like that more centre. Cool, that is. That's not very good, is it? This is a bit unparked on the hill. Yeah, that should be there like that. What if I put that on there like that first? <laughs> right. There's actually a little recess the it goes in, like that. So get in there like that, it's going to be fun, isn't it? So. Ah. Turn it round. Oh dear. You said it was a simple little job. No, nope, still not going. Try again. Try again. That's how it goes. And that's where it goes that way. This is the trouble this wire in here. No, it's still not going. I think my trouble is it's hands on a slope. Alright, get that out of the way in a minute. Alright.
cool, yeah. Got it. Two, three, four. We've done it. <laughs> so obviously, obviously, you've got to line up the filter inside there. I would suggest if you do it, park on a flat or even upward slope so you can actually line this this bit's level. At the moment when you drop the filter in it's obviously dropping forward so um, possibly the answer is to um, make sure this is on the flat. But anyway it's on, it's locked in, basically this goes in there like that And this, have a bit gone. And this strange piece here obviously goes in the intake there. Like that. In there like that. So. so that goes where the bonnet catch goes in. And this bit just slides over there and take like that. Get a screwdriver in there, there. Where's that? Okay, so I'm gonna... Hmm. Right. I'm gonna put some oil on that. So basically, drops in there and tighten up with a screwdriver, job done. But this one here is a little bit rusty, so I'm gonna clean them up, and should be okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye bye.